everyone, Catherine here with this week's Ask Question, which is how is COVID-19 affecting intended parents? And so the good news, now that we're over a year into this pandemic, the good news is that fertility clinics have kind of gotten into the groove and have become used to accommodating surrogacy that's taking place during this pandemic. So we are no longer seeing the kinds of delays that we initially saw when the fertility clinics shut down and you know, nothing was happening. So that's good. More good news is also that you can expect as intended parents that you can attend the important medical appointments, or at least one of you will be able to attend the important medical appointments. So the embryo transfer, the 20 week ultrasound and the delivery, we are hopeful that as intended parents, you will be able to be there. Now, you're not gonna be bringing your whole family along to the ultrasound. It's still gonna be social distancing in effect, but at least the hospitals can now accommodate the intended parents typically. So that's good. And more good news is now a COVID vaccine is out and there is plenty of supply. That means your gestational carrier can get vaccinated before she gets pregnant. So before the embryo transfer. And then you don't even have to worry about this question of should your gestational carrier get vaccinated during the pregnancy. It won't even be an issue anymore. So there's lots of good news for intended parents on the COVID front. And we wish you the best. Bye-bye.